Hello. <laughs> nigga, I got my own voice tactic, nigga. See, and you're asking for a ride. You got <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's yeah. your favorite podcast, TPSG. <laughs> okay, really? Word. And this is... Well, no, before we begin, happy Black History Month, everyone. Oh. Before we begin, but we already begun. Wow, semantics, really? So, Maybe actually, the, the future <laughs> is... <laughs> the future the is past. now, is what I'm trying to say. The future is the past, nigga. We see, in an infinite loop, baby. See, now you on some... See, I'm glad I stopped smoking. That, <laughs> yeah, man, I don't smoke that too much sense before this me. episode. <laughs> that would have bothered me that it made sense. Yeah. But happy Black History Month. But see, because you're not on that plane, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not on that spiritual level because you're not smoking. So you're not understanding the wavelength of the spirituality, cuz. The wavelength of the spirituality, nigga. That just sounds like justification for you bullshit. Just, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, a third will, time, my brother. <laughs> Happy Black History Month, See, my know, niggas. You notice I was trying to cut the bullshit from early. This is but. Flocka Zulu, aka <laughs> Sir Black Child III, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. Stop the violence. <laughs> And you know, it's your boy, Ice Cream Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. Sometimes I forget my a.k.a.s, <laughs> a.k.a. Holy Pacaroches, a.k.a. Swiss <laughs> Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga. DJ, cut that shit. <laughs> and it's your boy, <laughs> it's your boy, Dramatic, a.k.a. Loud Fat Chover, a.k.a. Wade Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady. A.K.A. Black Galifianakis, A.K.A. N.D.N. No do rag necessary. Hashtag Natural Waves. Make sure you get them, Who Kid. Oh yeah, shout out Who Kid. <laughs> A.K.A. Ooh. Cleveland. You left the window. <laughs> Cleveland. That's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, I'm but we yeah. left the window in. Mr. Who Kid flew in. What's going on, sir? That's what I'm talking about. You really made this thing up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now close the damn window. <laughs> but as I was trying week. to say earlier, before I was interrupted by these black hating Negroes, happy Black History Month. <laughs> damn it. But so now we're it. black hating Negroes. Mr. Say what you need to say. <laughs> no, but say y'all didn't hear me. To say. <laughs> All right, cut this shit. No. Sing it with the audience. Audience, Sit join these in. nuts. How about say that? What you need to say. I hope you got that all say recorded. What you need to say. You know you got to say. I'll be quite finished. <laughs> oh, and also, um, a big happy birthday to Yo, y'all sandwiching me and like my nuts. Don't ever say nuts and sandwiching me ever again in a <laughs> Yo, sentence. Yo, we brothers, man. Touch 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 me one time. He's <laughs> touching one me. Time. Who can? I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Where? Yeah, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 Stranger danger. I, I was vibing with the fact that our legs were touching until. <laughs> yeah, that makes it better. No, because y'all are comfortable with your balls breathing and my ball. No, G shit. Though, Yo, I speaking need of which, you ever, <laughs> you, ever, you ever see. I feel like I'm in the middle seat in the fucking. You are in the middle economy, seat. In fucking economy special, whatever the fuck, in the oh, back of the American word. Airlines. Spirit, uh, don't act like you don't know the name. Dog. That's only what you fly, boy. <laughs> First of all, I got a free upgrade. Oh, fuck out like, yeah. <laughs> You ain't never been in first class. Why Second of all, drinking sparkling I've been, water in, first, I've been wow. in first class on Southwest Airlines. That, What's up? <laughs> I was on first class in some shit that dipped. So first class was pointless anyway. Oh, see, that's how. I, but anyway, speaking of, see, you, that's you, ever I, see, you ever see those videos about man spreading? <laughs> about what? what? Like literally, dudes would be on the bus. Sitting like we are, because we have genitalia down there, mm -hmm. and we need space Wait, to breathe. I mean, genitalia down there. <laughs> no, no, no. We, all we, sorry, we have genitalia that needs we to have, breathe. We have, <laughs> I mean, we have, we have, we have genitalia. We have external genitalia, space. bro. And some women <laughs> take offense to it. They call it man spreading. Like what? They would walk up to dudes and throw water on them, like when they're sitting and everything or whatever. whatever. What? Google it. It's ridiculous. What? And I probably use the, the wrong term. I don't think it's man spreading. That sounds like something else. What? But, <laughs> but yeah, like, like this girl terrible. filmed her. Like, look at this man. He think he's owed all the space because he's a man. But and was then he? Was he pour like, wall the man. No, he wasn't doing anything. He was on his iPod. Was he? But was, was he, he, was he taking up anyone's space? Yeah, no. Yeah. Then why is everyone so offended? You have those. You have those people in certain sectors that are radical about their stances. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Every sector, even Black Power, there's people that are radical about that. But in this sector, 
I guess you could call them like a radical feminist. Mm. And, you know, they don't... Bro. Some some women just hate men. They don't hate bad men. They just hate Bro. the male species. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder what of, else they do for their communities. And there's a lot of white privilege. Just breathe this, up all in this. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, this, I didn't say all that. Oh, tons of it. Cause network. I feel like that's what it comes from anyway. Word, because, dog, I feel like... Like whatever, like white women care about in any given week, bro. That's like that's the, <laughs> it's, that's it's the topic. Yes, uh, it is yes. the topic. Bro. And and white for and they dog, somehow get dog, everyone else to a, care about it. They watch a video animal dying, dog niggas. Niggas ain't wearing fur. That's cut. Nope. That's it. You know I don't, I don't even want to hear you say the word chinchilla. <laughs> I'm throwing pain on you immediately. Wait. But anyway, <laughs> all to more important matters. Also, this is this is our first episode for Black History. Bless you for Black History Month. I was about to say, and it's also bless a nigga. Um, Bob Marley's <laughs> birthday. Bless you. Yeah, nigga. it is Bob Marley's birthday. So, yo, blessed Earth, Strong. blessed Earth, Strong to the Rasta Prophet Robert <laughs> Nesta Marley the Rasta first. Prophet. That's why. You, that's why you got your lion ring on. Oh yes, absolutely. I see you. This nigga flexing with the gold. Shout out, Lil Wayne. Bling bling. Wow. Oh Jesus. I see you, bro. Then I, I just said Bob Marley and shout out Lil Wayne. I apologize. My bad. Why? No, I got an evil eye from the audience member. Oh. <laughs> hey, let's stop. <laughs> I, I just, I just crazy. I knew exactly which, let's <laughs> which audience member was he. <laughs> of course. Lil Wayne said some prophetic shit in his earlier days. Oh, that's why I'm so One of his most prophetic that's why I'm lines so mad was. At him, um, dog. People, people wonder why I, I, I hate it on Wayne. And it's because that nigga chose. To give you bullshit. It's not like that nigga is like, I'm a rap. What's in my heart? That nigga is like. Ooh, he kind of did. No, this nigga is like. <laughs> that nigga, what's what was in his no, heart? That might be what's like, in his heart. This nigga is like, I could give this nigga. I could give these people bullshit. Just feed them punchlines, and that's what he did. Don and, and he just led the market with. He just pumped music. Mm-hmm. That was a strategy, dog. They just had the most songs. I mean, I don't disagree with you, but no, when I mean, he tries, bro. He, when he, like, the test is, listen to Wayne on other people's albums. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. he skates on other yeah. people's albums. He, he skates talks, for him. And he talks for, and talks for some real he shit. He skates on look for, for Lil Wayne. Like, at the end of the day, I still feel how I feel about Lil Wayne back then. He's just an average rapper that's been overrated. Bro, remember, um, This uh, Relatives? Yeah. Yeah. He's on a track on that Big album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And He's on he talks some real shit. He, he talks some real shit on Hollywood Divorce. Yep. That's probably that's, like, that's probably the best verse I ever heard from Wayne. That's what that I'm is saying. Ever. That's possibly that's what Wayne's I'm best saying. verse. That's probably his best verse. When he, but the, then, when he on the track with, with, with niggas that pull the shit out of a mill track. What though, respect but, him for that. Respect him when he realized I'm on the track with some OGs, I gotta word, come correct. So I, I respect him no, for that. that. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I'm giving him like he has talent, but he doesn't use it though. Like to, he, he'd in rather, my opinion, he he could use it better. You think dog. he doesn't use it? I think I mean he was like the number one artist in the world for a minute. But that, that's that, that's like not always. He ma- what? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. It's not always synonymous. <laughs> what if he used that? That what if he used his talent to be exactly that? Exactly what he exactly. put his energy into being the best. Like he's like I don't care about all the other shit. No, I that's just what I'm be saying. Number that's exactly one what he on did. the charts, period. And this is how that's I'm he did do it, it for the charts. Yeah, so, nobody denied that. So like, no, that's what I'm saying. That's all he did it for. I mean, we can't consider that a waste of talent, should we? Well, it's no, not it's a, not a waste, waste, a waste of, of talent, talent, but, but it's a, he's not like the best rapper alive and the best. This is not he. He might not be the best rapper in this city, let alone alive. There's a lot of rappers from New Orleans. Hey, Juvie was a dope ass rapper, man. Jed Electronic is a dope. BG Turk. BG was spitting. Yeah. But nobody wasn't trying to go to sleep. Yeah, his voice was kind of... Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, I won't say Shilton spitting, Shocker's though. better. Shilton Shocker's probably... Shilton Shocker's possibly the worst rapper ever. No, ever, yeah. Why? Spe- definitely the worst rapper Yo, from New Orleans. Who might be the worst rapper ever? Worse than... Um, worst rapper the ever? The worst popular rapper ever. Damn. What, what's his... Blueface. <laughs> Blueface is not the worst. He sounds pretty good, actually. Okay, sometimes I, I think I'm gonna quit TTSG sometimes <laughs> because our opinions are what? No, he, he sounds like bad. That nigga bro. don't rap on beat. Yeah, but it's not always that bad. You're right. It's worse. <laughs> Joe, Joe, what's good? What's good? Wait, wait, wait. Shout out to the loud ass audience members. <laughs> <laughs> you see a nigga on set. <laughs> I'm <laughs> fucking with you. Appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart. Wait, wait. <laughs> but yes, Blueface is terrible. Wait. 
Let's bring it back <laughs> to the main point. Yo, fam. Thank <laughs> you. That nigga does not rap on beat. You, that doesn't he's mean fi- he's terrible. He's fighting with the beat, and he's getting his <laughs> ass beat. <laughs> but everybody's loving that. Because <laughs> mediocre, sorry, Medi- mediocrity, mediocrity is, is, um, is praise nowadays. Right, Nobody so who, wants who else anything. is whack then? You know who's low? That you listening to. You know who is low-key? Uh, who? Slim Calhoun. No, I like Slim, Slim Calhoun. Slim Calhoun was okay. I he, like him. He, but he's he a, never left his lane. He was a regular rapper. Right? Yeah, exactly. He's he knew who what he was. He was a pimp rapper. He talked about hoes and... Um, oh, Patty Mills and Gator Belts and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though those were big boy Patty Belts and Gator But you know, that's his that's his family. He's, he's a Dungeon family member. He had a dope verse on um gangster shit though. Yeah, this he did. You he just, did. You and, just... and and in his um his his track, it's okay. All these lonely girls want to cut. It's the fun. radio version, sir. It's okay. Kay. It's all right, girl. That's okay. It's okay. You know what? It's that's all right, girl. girl. It's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Call him me. It's 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 all right, let me stop this up. Okay. But yeah, there, there's a bunch of it's okay. Oh, no, there, there's okay. a bunch of terrible rappers, but it depends on your on your taste. Like personally, when he first came out, mm-hmm. I thought Twenty One Savage was a bad rapper. I thought he was but awful. But he is enjoyable. That's what it. That's what you need to be nowadays. You don't need to be enjoyable. Yeah. You have I a thought, dope thought, beat, and if you can catch the beat, but what makes it, it enjoyable? I thought Yachty. Still, no, still fuck kinda, Yachty. Still think, no, no yeah. fuck Yachty. I, I'm glad I he's a young think. black man making his money, but he's a terrible musician. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He's terrible at, he's terrible at his sucks. job. Yeah, Yachty Bro, fucking sucks. I, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I know. No, like, he, and, like not, not, I'm sorry. If this ever gets to him and it hurts his feelings, I'm Bro, sorry. you know I never But, like, he can't really marry does. you. He has Louis Vuitton AirPods in. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that nigga's dumb with it. doesn't matter. He's not gonna hear us, and if he no, does, like he really terrible does, so, like that's the like, most high chested thing I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> he, his music is like it's so bad that you get tricked into listening to it. No, not me. No, 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 no. no. Like, <laughs> you know, you listen. You know, you listen to the whole cold never, Minnesota joint. I've Minnesota never, shit. No, I've never. I don't know. I don't know any other words other than cold as Minnesota. I know, Holy and it was like you were waiting for the car accident to happen again, which was the chorus. The whole song and is the accident. <laughs> the chorus is the car on fire <laughs> after that. But we know a lot of the words. <laughs> I don't know any of the words. Who's no. we? Stop what? lumping me in this pot of people Better that listen to Yachty. If you can't take the heat. <laughs> oh my god! Well, so, Yachty, you got another fan to add to your fan. Someone, oh, I, someone I absolutely hated that actually started growing me is Young Thug. Yeah, Young Thug is low key. <sighs> Young he, Thug's a weird like, one. Like he's, I can't listen to him <laughs> for. I can't one. listen to two songs straight. But he he has some tunes that. And if I do listen to two songs straight, I can't listen to him again for a month. He's like that. I have to like kid. wash it out of my system. <laughs> exactly, you gotta wash your spirit, dog. The what he does with his voice is like the weird, the kid that had like a weird odd talent that was never cool, but everyone let it slide. Cause it was cool. That's a good it. way to put it. Like, <laughs> and now everyone else is trying to do it, and it's just they suck. <laughs> yeah, but, I, can't, I can't lie. He did. He did he create a, a niche. He created a style. Mm-hmm. Like when, when, like even though like some white like, rappers, Yay, he made a style for. Like the, hey, mm-hmm. that's talent though. Right? That's <laughs> talent though. You may not like it or not, but he made a style, and it's being bitten by other people. That's talent. You gotta give him props for that. You may not like it, mm. but Wait, who are we talking is, about again? Young Thug. Young what are we talking about again, period? Well, I was trying to make a good uh smooth transition. Oh yeah. Twenty one savage, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That, that that went now. The twenty one all right, first of all, it's the most Can random I... news I've heard in the last probably ten years. Yeah. As far as randomness goes. So, go ahead, go ahead. I wanna start it with a comment. From who? Off a YouTube page about oh god, <laughs> twenty one savage now sir the twenty first. <sighs> that, wow. that wasn't funny the Terrible. first time I saw it. Wow. Terrible. Not funny now. There's there was a- one. There was one that got me. It was a meme and it said is annoy. I died. Oh yeah, it's annoy. Yeah. Yeah. That shit was now, funny. Now now let's okay. let's right. be clear though. All right. Hilarity out the way. Out the yeah. way. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you niggas is funny, but we can't. This ain't some shit just to laugh at. And, yeah, and disregard because cool, mm-hmm. we got to realize there's some serious shit going on. Yeah, so, we got to realize how disgusting ice is. Exactly, exactly. Be- because 
So first of all, he's he he came he came here in 06. I'm 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 here. You're saying 05. 05 yeah, 0506. Oh, 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 yeah. 0506. Oh, 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 That's 14 years ago, right? Mm. He's 20. He would have been 13. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah, like, he was like 12, 13, yeah. So what they're doing and you know, I saw like there was a statement from um you know, his 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 camp, you know, saying that, you know, the due diligence has been put in place, right? Mm. And they, he's been, he's been in the country how long? And they, they, they're arresting him now after he's, you know, and it's not, it's, and it's after he started business, after he's, it's you not know, only created a family, after, you know what I'm saying? All after these he's that, already contributed mm. back to the community over whatever issues they probably would have. And, 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 and people, what they're doing too, dog. They're trying to, they're trying to skew his image to us. They're trying to say, you know, um, his, oh yeah, he, he his, was his, fake. His persona, da, da, his da. persona's made like, up. Bro, da, da, somebody da, da, da. moving somewhere when they're what, what, nine, ten? Yeah, yeah, the adolescent years. Actors. Yeah, word. You move to Atlanta for when you're nine, ten. You, you from Atlanta? You're from like, Atlanta, like, Atlanta <laughs> bro. So now y'all gonna try... demonize Tupac for word. going to the West Coast? Exactly. Word. Don't, don't, that. Don't, He's don't from Brooklyn, Baltimore. Then he went to West Coast. Word. Don't paint it like he got a, he hide in an English accent. No. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And and niggas is falling for it. And uh, unfortunately, the jokes is is moving faster than the actual what's going on. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And not and not only you know. Like like you said, he's doing good stuff in his community. He's actually waking up. He's he was like spreading financial literacy and everything. Right. Okay. Talking about some real shit. Exactly. Let's I I will give you benefit out. Let's throw that out the window. This man has convictions. He has felony convictions with, with pistols, guns, and da da da. Why did you pick him up then? Mm-hmm. What was the issue then? Right. That's how I know it's bullshit. Right. Because he didn't have some light charges. I think I read somewhere when he was in middle school, he pulled a gun on a classmate. That's some serious shit. Mm-hmm. That's where you deport him if you want to deport him. That's how I know it's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Because recently he, um, I forgot what um, talk show he was on. He was performing and he was talking about immigration and, and how it's bad and everything and ICE and everything. That all of a sudden he's mm-hmm. from UK and he's being deported. That's, that's some fuck crazy. boys, dog. Seriously, that's some grade A fuck boy shit. Mm-hmm. And 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 I think I've said it on the podcast before. They're not hiding. Their, their racism and their um totalitarianism and all that anymore. Word. They Word. just blame yeah, with it and they yeah. want you to do something about it. Like, boom, this is what we're going to do. Fuck you going to do it. They're getting bold with it. It's disgusting. And like people on Twitter saying like, y'all laughing at 21 South, but this could happen to you. Mm-hmm. You don't know if your parents fucked up your birth certificate when you're younger. Mm. Sorry, when you're younger. Mm. Now you're 30 years old, you're getting picked up by, you know what I'm saying? It, it can happen to anybody. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. why I said it's the most, ra- it came out of nowhere. Like I saw it first, I was like, okay, it's the same day as the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Get Atlanta. He's from Atlanta. This is a joke. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a joke That's at first. Joke. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's no way. Yeah. But it's, it's it's ridiculous, man. It really is ridiculous. Dog. Word, I I to see I had to see it a couple of times to even start to be like, okay, I think this might be real. Yeah, like he came it, out of nowhere. I'm like, what? 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 Twenty one, twenty one savage. Word, but don't let them fool you, Say dog. Run, dog. Bro, they're literally <laughs> trying to turn this community against them, dog. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. I was absolutely. reading an article, dog, and literally in the same sentence that they had, um, he had a backpack drive. They put in um in his. So called native city, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. They be trying, this man has done man. so much for his oh, city. This he man. started a Twenty One Savage what, bank account initiative, basically, where he like gives selected, uh, like a select twenty one kids a thousand children a thousand dollars and teaches them how to manage and save their money with yeah it. financial literacy, like man. like some real practical real life. Programs that he's implementing. That's, mm-hmm. that's he's giving though. supplies to communities. And st- he's, yeah. he's given supplies to schools several years and donated money. Like he's he's done a lot of because he, he for he, his local community. He was a good student in school. He talked about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he was came actually from like a straight that A student. Mm. So he just did bad shit outside of school or in school too. Yeah, <laughs> but like I said, the whole story with him pulling a gun. I, I'm not sure I truly. No, I'm not sure I true anything is. You know what I'm right, saying? But. Right. I read that somewhere, but the thing is, he did confirm that he was born in the UK. Mm. He did confirm that. We're not mm. saying that he's not from the UK and ISIS lying about that. We're just questioning their motive. And Were you bit? Should. If you really wanted to right. deport him, you want to pick him up no. and do your job. Well, no question. Because people love saying that, oh, ISIS is doing a job. Why didn't you pick him up when he was fucking no, around? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No question what they're doing to him is unconstitutional, though. Like, Absolutely. There's no way 
Like, that, this is a complete violation of someone's rights, dog. And they're, you're looking at you're looking at a government that's turning more and more totalitarian. Mm-hmm. totalitarian Communistic. Totalitarian. I know it's communism, but communistic. Exactly. TPSG, word of the day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you don't show your dang, um, your, 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 your secrets, bro. Nigga doing vo- voice, vocal shit. I don't want to tell nobody. What Are you it is. still on that? Yes, bro. I lied. You feel better? <laughs> Jeez, guys. <laughs> but as what on? our audience <laughs> members, pointed, <laughs> as what our audience members pointed out, you know, all in all, it's just it is as shitty as it sounds. He's doing too much for the black community. He's yeah. doing he's doing way more than Twenty One Savage should be doing it. That's why they come for him. So, right? bro, like, so you ain't Martin Luther King. You Twenty One Savage. So like, that <laughs> so that begs the question, dog. So. I can't help but see a pattern. Mm. So I feel like they 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 pinpoint people that they feel that they can get. Oh, definitely. You know what I'm saying? And it's like mm. you can see the targeting, dog. It's like they're really like, uh, it's a hunt for successful black people. Oh, bro. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Expe- especially when you're about to do some shit, bro, yeah. or when you're about to change the game. It, especially when you just, separate yourself from them crackers, mm-hmm. like um, like Chris Brown, the mm-hmm. recent one, where he got control of his masters, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden he got a rape allegation, which turned out to yeah. be false. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with Twenty. Right. I think on top of all this, Twenty One Savage did get control of his masters, if I'm not mistaken. He mm-hmm. has control of his and masters. They, and he they, has control, of, and all of a sudden he's an immigrant. Y'all and they fuck faces. Th- th- and they play on people's <laughs> th- they they play on people's prejudice, dog. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. They were like, you know, Chris Brown. I was like, oh, that sounds like some shit, Chris Brown. You know what Boom. I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> so they, they play on like it's it's so insidious, dog. It's, it, you got to be careful. Oh, I love that word. Opinion will, uh, public opinion will public opinion will will done you. That's it. Like once word. public opinion gets to you, it's over. It don't matter. No, nah, that's why it it's so important to walk good, bro. Yeah. Because they 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 coming after you, dog. And the rules aren't fair. They can do whatever the fuck. And then you make up whatever whatever narrative they want and everything. It's 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 disgusting, man. You wanna, well, you, you know what I'm saying? It <laughs> makes you wanna fuck up a white person anywhere. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> oh. terrible, <laughs> deplorable, Wait. horrible. Wait. Any more adjectives? <laughs> <laughs> what? A, that, what a, I see where you're going with it. Yeah, <laughs> I see, I see what are you a black? <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> or a black bastard. Well, if I were black <laughs> Liam Neeson, I would think oh, I'd want to know. Oh, right. oh, God. Uh, now, if you haven't heard about <laughs> Liam Neeson, you need to rent out that space under that rock you live under. <laughs> um, well, first of all, that that's probably what kept you safe from, from Liam Neeson. <laughs> from <laughs> because so, he has a particular set of skills rock and, he will, and he will find you. <laughs> And he will use his to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the other day, there was a recording that got released of Liam Neeson talking about how someone close to him, I'm not, I think it was a friend, I don't think it was a family member, was raped by a black man. Mm. And he was pissed about it. And, you know, as he should be, there's someone close to him. But he didn't go about it the right way, about his pissed offness, bless him. Mm-hmm. Mm. He said after he heard that for two weeks, he was walking around hoping wishing a nigga would in mm-hmm. layman's terms mm-hmm. wishing that a black bastard as he put it mm-hmm. would mess with him <laughs> so he <laughs> said wishing it <laughs> i'm not sure if you use that ex- well, it was more it was more like well, I sometimes wish a nigga some, would sometimes yeah. these roles get to niggas head bro <laughs> I wish a black yeah. man first of all i don't know if you first of all let's, you, let's you talk probably, about you probably mercy and taken bro you probably think he could Chop niggas in the temple and then they fall. Speaking of which, let's talk about how he's the worst father in movie history. How the fuck your daughter get taken three times? Shoot. After the third time, CPS or DSC got to come for your ass or But he something. is the best fucking robot ever. But how? What, what do you mean? Optimus Prime. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, has, he, has one of the, he has one of the best voices in Hollywood. But anyway... So the situation was he was walking around <laughs> mad that the way he says nigga is so crisp. No, but yeah. I don't. I, he didn't say nigga. I'm not gonna accuse him. Of <laughs> <that>. <laughs> he didn't say nigga. He said a black bastard, which is no better. No, right. it's, it's, but he it's said for two said weeks nigga. he was walking around wishing that a black person would start up something with him so he can beat them to death or beat the shit out of him because the person close to him was raped by a black person. First Makes of sense. all, so 
if a white if it was a white person, would you be going around looking for the nearest white, white person, person to mess with you? I mean, is it, is it a, does it go both ways? I think not. I don't think see, so. You know, so I, see, feel, I feel like, but, but we'll never know because that, it for, wasn't a white person. For, no, but for, I feel for that to happen, that that prejudice had to already be there it to had some to be degree. There. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you know what happens when a white man does some wild shit. He gets to go on a TV show and speak his piece. Mm-hmm. He was on Good Morning America talking about I'm not a racist and da da da. I went on a power walk and all that, um, okay, all, on a power all walk. that shit subsided. He didn't say shit on a Good Morning America, but he said all his race subsided because he went on a power walk he and probably, he and he sought he sought I think he sought um advice from a priest or something. Or something like that. They're just trying to justify him hey, wanting to kill Liam a random, hey, not Father the black John, person did, that raped his friend, <laughs> a random black person. Word. Father hey, John, how how I get these niggas off me, man? He probably, yeah, like, I get these niggas out my mind, man. I can't get them out my mind. He Father, went on a power he walk. He was mad at a person. He was mad at niggas. Liam, Thank you. Liam Neeson went on a power walk looking for niggas to fight. Mm-hmm. And then when he got and too he, tired realizing he couldn't find a nigga to fight, he was like, he was like why right. am I doing this? First like this is not, I'm not on oh, a movie church. set. He probably stopped right in front of a church by accident. Said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna walk into the church <laughs> just like that." <laughs> like, he's all, it's like he's in a damn movie. <laughs> it's and, like, then, just like and then movie. and then, well, once again, my conspiracy theory mind started running. Um, they were talking about this Liam Neeson shit this on Trayvon Martin's birthday, mm. and Trayvon Martin, who was killed by a man that was out looking to fuck somebody up. Coincidence? I think motherfucking not. Okay, like just but that's mock, just me. Okay. Just to mock, just to mock the memory of Trayvon. That's what I think because you already know how to crack. That would be about some Trayvon. real life trolling shit type. Shit. I would have put it past them. They've yeah. done way worse. They've done way worse. Oh, that is a le- worse. and then on top of, on top of that is Black History Month. Fuck Liam Neeson and fuck his thoughts. We already canceled him. Yeah, nobody Pushed to the side. Him. Let's focus on our people. And Taken month. Three sucked, man. He, like, I didn't even watch it. All the shots of him running, it was... He you know you're running. not that fast, you old no, ass cracker. Bro, like he was struggling. He, you know those old dudes that jog in the neighborhood early in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, they, they be look trying like they to hold to on to these action actors, bro. Like... <laughs> Other people can, you know, do play that a dude, shit. Play yeah. a dude, some assaulting and and shooting at niggas, bro. It don't have to be <laughs> plenty of other people. That can be when you said that, just imagine the nigga flipping. <laughs> <Where? Yeah. laughs> they got all these so, niggas pulling muscles and shit. Like, for real. there's so many aspiring young actors out there that probably Word. look terrifying and can be terrifying. You, you got have a you got actors set of soaking skills. Epsom salt after each. For day. real, that's why the movie yeah. takes so damn long to come out. <laughs> Liam Neeson got to soak for three hours after running two miles. <laughs> Fuck this crap! <laughs> Shit, you're <laughs> really angry at Liam Neeson. Yeah. Of course, why? Why should not be? Okay, okay. Sorry, I don't want to raise my bit. voice. Yep. We but, apologize to anybody. But, wearing but actually, you're right next to me. <laughs> sorry, <I'm laughs> Actually, I do have some anger. Uh, also. One good ear left. Just this one. Thanks. Oh, oh you old too. <laughs> <laughs> I also have some anger for my boy Terry Crews because when it came out, he retweeted like basically saying, get off Liam Neeson's back. He was angry. And then he had the nerve to retweet some about Trayvon and basically said the same thing like, oh, Trayvon was killed by someone who was looking. Like, pick a side. What is wrong with you? As big as you are, I know you can be on both sides, but pick a side. <laughs> and then, like, it's it's it's, it's just. Today, bro. I, I'm sorry. Jesus. All this shit has been heavy on my heart. Word. Because first mouthful. of all, blame Twitter. Twitter riles you up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's something you're passionate about. But it's just it's just crazy what um people prioritize over other things. Mm-hmm. You like you see Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson as an actor and everything. You don't see him as a white man that was gonna kill a black guy. Mm-hmm. You see him as your, and I think he was in. There's a movie together. I think it was in the Expendables together, if I'm right. not mistaken. You don't. You don't see him as someone who has prejudice. Exactly. But it, but you just you, see him as your fellow actor who well, just happened to have rage about murdering an African American. Speaking of prejudice in high places, bro. Mm. Let's talk about Virginia. Oh, and there in another episode of These Crackers is Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. These crackers is wild. Well, oh, sorry. I wish you would have said that before the Liam Neeson shit. He's included this episode. If you talk about the story, you could more say like these crackers was wild. 
There you go defending them. I'm not defending. I'm, I'm specifying the details, crackers, nigga. These crackers Be was, intelligent. is, and will forever. Oh, no, no, no. My bad. No, no. You're right. No, no. Nigga. There is wildness. So, <laughs> do you know who <laughs> Ralph Northam is? Do you know who Ralph Northam is? Anybody? Ralph who? Northam. I think I said his name correctly. No. He's the governor of Virginia. <laughs> okay. And... And in his medical <laughs> in his medical school yearbook, oh yeah, there's a picture of him in blackface. It's my next to him, dressed in a KKK uniform. Right, and he's swearing up and down, left and right, that that's not him. Uh, but mm. he did admit mm-hmm. that he entered a dance contest in the '80s mm. as Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. but and he darkened his skin mm-hmm. to look more like Michael Jackson. Okay, so first of all, semantics. Okay, second of all, wait, wait, no, let me show you how out of touch these crackers are. Mm. So. Because um, when they're when they're having these press conferences, they don't ask them the hard hitting questions like they're supposed to. Mm-hmm. One of them asked, "Oh, you said you were in a dance contest." He's like, "Yes." He's like, "Can you still moonwalk?" <laughs> this cracker, Rob Northern, he looked around as if he was looking for space to moonwalk, <laughs> and he was about to say something. His wife was like, <laughs> "His wife was like, um, because uh, you know he was, he was like unfortunate circumstances." <laughs> and then he smiled and looked at the, uh, uh, looked back that? at the people like, "Oh, my wife said." Um, he about the fucking moonwalk on stage if his wife wasn't there. She see that. He was looking for space, <laughs> and his wife was like, "I married this idiot." <laughs> you know she, what I'm saying? She see that tired ass moonwalk every Thanksgiving. Every fucking Thanksgiving. She's like, "Don't do that." that every that contest, Thanksgiving. baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what so, I'm saying? All right. Like, I, I feel like. So out of, uh, I feel like. I feel like everybody's ignoring the bigger picture, which is. Why the fuck mm-hmm. is there a picture of a nigga in a KKK uniform and blackface in a medical school yearbook? You're absolutely right. <laughs> Still. You know what I'm saying? That everybody talking about this one nigga. Why were you in this picture? Why does that picture exist? exist. Why, You're talking true. about Why a whole it, institution, dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, so How I- many people look past that, bro? That's see, that's and that's because, a medical school, bro. That's because it was so comfortable, so regular back it's then. It's regular back then. That's the bigger picture, dog. They they trying to look at it like look at your cold culture, dog. That was in a yearbook. Somebody published that. Yes, yeah, so somebody the editor looked at that. And said, this it's is cool. cool. Somebody grown skimmed through that and said, "All right," and and then to make it worse, the attorney general admitted he did blackface. He saw all that pressure. He was like, okay, I can't Bro, lie to him. What they do is, dog, <laughs> you know they, they cover the bases, dog. Like, before the picture come out, I'm going to just let you know. <laughs> the 60s were wild. But, bro, like, <laughs> but that, that goes to show you. And the fuck impo- you, Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> fuck him, too. He, he's a definitely one. Oh, oh. That picture back then, how did I? Sorry, before we continue. Duh, <laughs> if I say fuck that nigga, like, they'll, they'll bleep that fuck on HBO. But anyway, <laughs> but look, but look, wait, 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 um, but hold on, hold on. Bef- before, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Before go ahead. I get there, bro. Before you get there, rather. Nah, that well, showed the importance, <laughs> importance of representation okay. in mm-hmm. government, dog. Absolutely, absolutely. So when you, when you talk about, oh, why is it important for us to let black people, why? Because w- these niggas didn't grow up where it was okay to have blackface in KKK in high school, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That it was you a come joke in, to them. It's a joke. Right. So you come in from that, and then you can claim you understand me to where you can govern that what you know affects my Fuck life. No. Fuck That's no, crazy. dog. Get Fuck these, no. So get all these crackers out of the office, bro. If you want to mm-hmm. get some new bloods, because they you know they ain't like the old heads. We need to let the old heads die out. But get yeah. some new heads. Get some colorful people mm-hmm. in, in 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 places of government. And, and then when you do I'm get both. the colorful people, mm. don't get the panderers. Don't get the people that got a shuck and jive bro, and talk about hip hop and Beyonce and hot sauce in their nah, purse but this all is, the bro, fucking time. There's gonna be a hard fine line. We need with that, tangibles. Man, you know they're gonna hire their ass because. Oh no, no, what? of course. If it's not a cracker, it's the closest thing to it. Bro, being a black <laughs> conservative is a business, dog. Yeah, yeah. these absolutely. niggas out there trying to get shows. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like Hi. big time. Corey, you heard about Cory Booker, who's running for president? Yes. That he he looks like if um. If like you stuck a white person's face in dirt or something, that's how close to white he's very light skinned. Oh, but I'm not, that, I'm not condemning him for that. I'm not condemn, but I'm just saying he's very <laughs> fair skinned. So he's yo, very fair skinned. So they took a W I'm and dipped con- him in butter. And that's butter. Slightly just <laughs> boop. <laughs> butter with some canola oil in it. And put him in a microwave for like 15 <laughs> seconds. For him to get like almondy, a little toasty. Oh, it's like cinnamon butter, you mean? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So he was on he was on the <laughs> breakfast, he was on the Breakfast Club, right? And I have a love hate. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have a love hate relationship with Charlemagne because sometimes he's annoying. Mm-hmm. He's also a Cowboys fan. Shout out Cowboys Nation. <laughs> and um, but sometimes he asks some real questions because you know he you know he's for the people he with us. He asks them, you know, since you're a black person, you're gonna elect it. Are you gonna do you have an agenda to further black people? And tell me why Cory Brooker sounded like he was choking on the food. Talk about well, uh, Charlemagne, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, it, it, I, I'm I'm for all people. Da da da. I'm like, kiss my ass. Uh, you're not getting my see, vote, nigga. You see, the problem here. is <laughs> you're not getting. My the problem vote. is niggas got to play the game, and we got to get rid of the game entirely. Yes, it's like mm-hmm. where where you got to get in is you got to play the game, and when you play the game, it's like you're not you're not as useful as as you want to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like you make you make influence little at a time and. And salute to you for that, because mm-hmm. that has brought us a long way and, 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 and you know, improved a lot of lives. But, you know, it, it needs to be at a faster pace, man, yeah. for me to happen. And it all started with Obama, too. Mm-hmm. Like, do, do y'all watch Trigger Warning? Uh, no. Killer Mike? I still have Fantastic. I I'm finished still, it. I'm still binging That Game shit is fantastic. Yeah. And he mentioned how, technically, we never had a, a black president. We had a mulatto mixed president. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. true. And that is the closest. You will never see... A nigga that look like Shabarangs or Bujapanton <laughs> in the office. Nope. It's only gonna be niggas that look like Shaggy and Sean Paul, and it's unfortunate Word. because they. And it's always a the straight cut. Yes, yeah, a straight cut, mm-hmm. and oh, Obama loves basketball and this and that, and blah blah blah. What does that have to do with politics? I'm Tell dope. me, what are you gonna do to further me and better me and my people? I don't give a fuck if you can shoot a three. I don't give a fuck if you have hot sauce in your back. I don't care what music you listen to. And and, and your music choice is not going to be on the ballot. You understand that? And Obama had to be impeccable, bro. Yes, impeccable. That's what makes even worse. No, if he grabbed what they wanted, and then he had to do more, bro. If he grabbed a good booty in the '80s, bro, they would have came out and they would have been. They condemned him for smoking cigarettes. He used to smoke squares when he lived in Hawaii or whatever. No, didn't they? They had pictures of him smoking weed. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And they tried to they tried to sabotage him with that shit. They were like, man, shut the fuck up. It almost (laughs) it could have worked. Everybody smoked weed in college. Word. It could have worked if the president before wasn't on (laughs) crack. Yeah, yeah George, have. I'm sorry, George cocaine. Bush, Let me get it. George, George Bush was, was literally on coke. On cocaine. Literally yeah. on coke. He's you know a go to snipped it off, snipped it off the fucking oval. Off they would have trust me if it wasn't for that. They uh-huh. would have leaned in for the for the. Oh, absolutely. Thing. Oh, absolutely. And the thing is, you can't even say he did an oval office. And then they the say president George Bush, before that was getting his dick sucked in the oval office. So exactly. Fuck it. Word. Yeah. I'm couldn't. not by his wife. Bro, exactly. bro, that's probably true for. Eighty percent of the presidents, unfortunately. No, no, oh, man, all them Niggas. got they Once again, conspiracy theorists. Mm. I hope they change really that be- rug every president. <laughs> <laughs> For that real. shit got so much fucking. Ah, well, this all, shit smell like Clinton. Well, all, 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 <laughs> you know what Clinton smell like? All, 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 Clinton, child, you know I smell. No, Clinton, Clinton smell like smell saxophones like. and oral sex. Uh, That's what Clinton smell like. like fucking brass and <laughs> brass, brass and, and cum. <laughs> oh, all, all, all types gross. of you niggas are disgusting. Gross. All types of ghosts and nuts that? busted past. And, <laughs> and, and let's not talk about Captain Spray Tan that's in there now. Over office probably rank oh, to bumba. Nah, that should probably smell like shit. Word. Oh my god, <laughs> literally. You know, you know, like some actually he ain't there, like so he probably smell. Fine. He looked like one of them niggas that smell whatever. like lunch meat. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like one of them. He looked like if I touch him, he'd be slimy. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I gotta go wash my hands now. So, yeah. oh, speak, speaking speaking of Trump, he, he looked like he got to change that white, his under white shirt like to every five minutes. Yeah, that shit. He looks like all picture. his undershirts <laughs> got the yellow stains. Word. on You gotta walk around yeah, like man. this, <laughs> Melania, please. <laughs> Yo, he, speak, speaking he, of yo, Melania, hold on, hold on, Donald Trump, the type of nigga <laughs> to walk around the house with his undershirt and no underwear on. Oh, <laughs> oh, nigga, oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> 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 That nigga, that oh nigga, my god. That nigga look like a skinned turkey. He, he, the, he, the type of nigga, he the type of nigga to walk to the front of the line, put his hips up. He ain't in line. Stand around, turn around, and turn back around and say, Honey! I don't know what I'm talking about. I lost it. <laughs> He's the only man over 70 that I lost it. I was going too far morning. down that rabbit hole. But <laughs> speak, um, speaking of Trump, and not only, um, not only did they attack Obama, Bro, they, but they attacked Michelle. Oh yeah. Now, um, uh, when he first got elected president, um, what Michelle was wearing something 
where her arms were exposed. Mm. I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> her <laughs> arms, not her breasts, not even her cleavage, not her yeah, ass, yeah. not her legs, mm. nothing of her arms. And these crackers were, no pun intended, up in arms about it. <laughs> Fast forward to right now. Okay. I see what you did. It's damn near Donald poetry. Trump's oh, wife, who is the first lady, Melania Trump, still to this day, I saw it a couple days ago, has nude pictures out. Mm. Has pictures where she's in GQ. I just saw a picture of GQ. She's on a private jet mm. with like a gold gun in her hand, like a a, br- a briefcase full of money, mm. half naked. Mm. Our first lady. Word. That's our first lady. Word. But you're complaining about Michelle Obama having her fucking arms out. Word. Not to not to shame anybody who might you know take nudie photos for for money. No, no, we're not shaming you. But but, I'm, but just to make the comparison, but you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like if you. <laughs> <laughs> You know. Ooh, boobies. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> There's boobies in that one. But, but once again, conspiracy theories might like, I don't even think the president matters, dog. Honestly, it's other crackers high up that are controlling this shit, but that's too deep for y'all. Bro, what I... Then the reptilian... No, I'm kidding. No, nah, this nigga I don't believe in that. Don't this nigga is a... The reptilian. I don't believe in the reptilian. This nigga is literally... Uh, not enough hard evidence for that. This nigga is literally a weapon, dog. Yeah, he, he's, like, he's a weapon just, for destruction and uh, segregation and separation no, and hate Russia and fear-mongering. Wep- Russia weaponized America. Am, am I missing anything? Re- Re- fuckery, yes. And fuckery, yes. And fuckery. Fuck- That's definitely the TPSD Fuckery and fuckery. Fuckery. All of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he let, they let Russia weaponize America's racism and shit, mm-hmm. bro. But, bro. But the thing is, as, as crazy as it sounds, um, I, I've seen people say it all the time, and it's the truth. One thing I do commend Trump for is exposing these crackers to other people. Like we knew already, mm. yeah. we already knew how these crackers were. Mm. But, but now we mm. know exactly. They came out what in droves. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then people's like, "Oh, people in America are like this." Yeah. Ding ding ding. Well, yeah, <laughs> people didn't think it was as bad. We thought we didn't knew this. That's, that's the danger of this false progress, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. America ain't made no progress, dog. For the no. last. 40, 50 years, they made no... Mm-hmm. Pro- it just became more covert. Everything, yeah. you yeah. know, it's like, oh, we it's we can't do this anymore. And it, all, you, you can see it in the code, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know, speaking, like, they, they, you're mad because you can't be a, a, a creep or a rapist or a molester word. anymore. That's wild to me. Where these PC snowflakes, that means I, can, I can't be racist and misogynistic and... Let me be hateful in peace. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and ignorant. I can't. I can't say ignorant shit. No. Right, bro. Because that's all they know. Mm. You're taking away the only thing I know. Fuck you. Word. That's what their mentality is, dog. Word. And, and they, that's one. Like I they, said, they cry over being silenced, dog. Like they're like, oh, I can't say this. I can't say that. But be critical of their U.S. of A., bro. And they're like, you're you're a goddamn. You're disrespecting the flag. You you must be one of them goddamn Muslims. You don't like America. And I already look like a Muslim. So right, go, anyway. You go back. You, you go back. To oh yeah, both of us. At least you ain't got the name. Like, thank God my mustache <laughs> just connected. <laughs> because when it wasn't connected, I looked I like know, Muhammad man, straight my up. Shit don't connect, huh? So to, to go back to what I was saying about Terry Crews, I wanted to get the the quote correct. So he quoted um, Liam Neeson. The Liam Neeson said, "I walk the streets with a kosh. I don't know what a kosh is. Probably some Irish shit." Hoping I'd be approached by a black bastard that's, that's, so that I could kill him. Whoa. He said that. Akash is literally a, hmm. Oh, like frumpiness. No, okay. that, it's literally, hmm. Oh, that's exactly what it is. Oh, okay. That's nah, I'm, person I'm fu- new every day. I didn't nah, know that. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm fucking around. Oh. But. That makes sense, though. <laughs> the, yo, Context the, clues, maybe. You, Context clues. You know, I, I, you, know, I, you know, see, I felt bad because I looked over. I got, I, was the, I, got the, I got the nod of, I, I'm really learning something. I was like, no. Yeah, you got me. I don't know. I was definitely like, oh, shit. No, this like, is no. some random ass shit no, Paul knows about. No, that don't. came up at the right time. Wait, like, don't. This is some cool ass. Don't internalize that information. That wasn't. So right. he so said I'm that. Don't tell everybody that. Well, no, they already heard that. They'll believe you. It's like it's kind of like when people when I tell people I'm six one. It's like, yeah. Sometimes, it's like, if except I said that, to a nigga that's six one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you I'm, what? I'm, I'm six one till a six one nigga walk around <laughs> and like, oh yeah, nigga, so, re- nigga really fight. With it. <laughs> so, so Terry wow. Crews. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so Terry Crews quoted it. He said, "I believe that every person on Earth is capable of the greatest good or unspeakable evil." Liam is just describing his fork in the road. And then not minutes later, he retweeted a happy birthday Trayvon Martin and said, 
George Zimmerman did to a child what Liam described. God bless Trayvon. I'm done. What? I'm done. I was supporting Terry Crews. No, 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 are you are you missing something? No, that's it. All right, read the shit again. What am I missing? Read what he said, man. Okay, I'm gonna read it again. He said, I, "Are you fucking with me?" Just read it again, man. What the second one? <laughs> Both of them. He said, "I believe that every person on earth is capable of the greatest good or unspeakable evil." Mm-hmm. Liam is just describing his fork in the road. His fork in the road. He continued, Terry, Terry. and then he retweeted the "Happy Birthday Trayvon Martin" tweet. And he said, George Zimmerman did to a child what Liam described. God bless Trayvon. See, People listening see me right now. Wait, what? Say it again? <laughs> no, I really didn't hear no, you. No, for real. All right, so if you think about it, right? He's literally, you heard the fork in the road metaphor. Mm. Liam Neeson ended up not doing something fucked up. Oh, so that just ended up his fucked up thing was he actually went and did something. Well, he, he might be trying to use it, it might be a reach. But you might be trying to use that as an example. It's of definitely like, a reach. Like pulling a muscle reach. Not necessarily. I don't know, man. If somebody I don't know. got I, caught saying some shit like that, I, and if they he did do some shit. But like that's the thing. I don't think oh, you wait, can excuse wait. him just because he no, didn't no, wait, carry out the hat. It's I, not up to I, Terry Crews to decide that. However, no, it's definitely not. However, He's not the authority on everything. However, he makes he has a point. And what's he his point? I just said the fucking point. And what is it? (laughs) The the point is that Liam Neeson chose not to do something heinous. And George Zimmerman did. And George Zimmerman did. Period. But at one point, they were the same, though. We all have fucked up thoughts. We all have fucked up thoughts. But at one point, they were the same, though. They were walking around with those thoughts. One acted out and one did Are are you niggas performing a piece? Or is this for real? (laughs) <laughs> what a podcast what, 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 what a this, podcast this and a, cut <laughs> and I feel beautiful like, at any moment I feel like one of them gonna be like and see and I'll be like oh thank god y'all fucking yeah right. who got my motherfucking <laughs> coffee <laughs> oh you wanted them niggas. I think I, I think, want all blue M&M's or I'm gonna kill someone <laughs> I think I think what happened with Terry Crews he got caught with playing Hollywood politics yes. and trying to be woke at the same time niggas a puppet he's probably trying I, to like get some of his face back after saying all that Wild shit. What wild shit? Well, not wild shit, but like you know the accusations about you know the Hollywood executives and stuff like that. When he was kind of siding with Me Too movement, really. He still is. Oh yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I think the wildest shit he said was um um uh, Dio Hughley said basically said all the muscles and you let that nigga grab you. <laughs> and, and Terry Crews was, was like. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, <laughs> like that's the layman terms of what Dio Hughley said. Dio Hughley is funny. As shit, no, he bro. no, but I, I, it's some it's some <laughs> it's some dirty dirt dirt on Dio Hughley. Really? Yes. Sidebar: His daughter came came to him and told him that someone did something to her, and he didn't believe her. So really? Fuck Dio Hughley. <laughs> he didn't believe her. No, he didn't believe her. And I don't know if you know about him cheating on his wife. With his side chick and getting her pregnant, no. and he wished death on the child, and the child Ooh. actually ended up dying. What? Yeah. Wait, See, y'all didn't know that. No, where are you? You can it? Google it. I, I will not he lie to you. Death on the child. He he <laughs> said he was in interviews like he felt so bad about what he did. He said he wished the child was dead, so this can all be erased, and the child ended up dying. Your words are powerful, people. So fuck the old Hughley, and right now fuck Terry Cruz until I. Well, Unjumble this shit, Terry, Terry, Terry Crews. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like you are angry tonight. Yeah. I, I really am. That's the name of this episode. Dramatic is angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? But yeah, I mean, it's just like you. You gotta pick a side, man. You gotta. You gotta decide who you with when this revolution. When this revolution start, real what? shit. Are you with your people? or are You gonna be with the crackers that pay you? Mm. So you what? fuck with Travis Scott? Uh, mm. I. That's Not really, point. because he kind of, he married a, a a a Jenner. That's why. That's why you don't fuck with them. They, yo, they are like the epitome of people I, that tear down black. No, no, I mean I'm saying yeah, but think, that's the reason why. It's a part of the Not reason. his weird behavior throughout. I think he just. Whole I just think, I, that's I, why I he's that's acting a, weird. I just think it's a simple move, dog. Like, darn, dog, you, you let them suck you in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. and then, like it's it's hard to make excuses when you're like, yeah. oh, he's. He's young. He's just trying to get the bag. Nah, like, but when they uh, was asking him about Mike Brown and all that stuff, he was like basically deflect. He was basically yeah, he was saying like, like, "Oh, muscle. I'm not saying that like you know, black people always act like you know it's just a reason to get amped up and like 
uh, get hype about some shit that happened when, like, sometimes we don't want to take accountability for ourselves and da-da-da. I'm like, it's a 17-year-old kid that several cops shot. What are you talking about? Yeah. Right. You fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, right, yeah, I forgot he said that. Yeah, you're right. right. Yeah. What that sounds like is he's not in tune with what's going on, and he's just saying some shit. That he it's is. connection. You know what I'm saying? Cause, that's what happened when niggas Because what he's saying is... The album's amazing. Yeah. No, World <laughs> are great. See, I can separate them from their music. Like, for instance, Elephant in the Room, R. Kelly. He made fantastic music, you but he's a to R. Kelly. Kelly no, no, no. I haven't cool. listened to R. Kelly in oh, a minute. Oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. But I can acknowledge that his music is incredible. Like, his art is good, but him is, himself is, 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 is a piece Is it still of shit. after you can put... No, no, certain songs. You just can't listen to some shit. Man. No, you can't, and I Most haven't. Shit. I believe I Can Fly is one of the most inspirational songs ever, but you can't listen to it without thinking him doing the shit. You know what so I'm saying? You can't listen or, to I Wish. No. Not if it... How about not, you? Not if it adds to... Not if and for what I know, the girl's brain is here on the porch is one of the victims. <laughs> oh, man. Why did I... See, Damn. I'm my natural reaction. So, so like, I've heard. It's such a good song. Yeah. That nigga exposed... But I yeah, you got to be able to separate... Like People are like, I'm not canceling R. Kelly. I'm bumping... See, Remix to Ignition right now. See, like, see, all right, whatever. All right, there's not, all right. Here's, here's, <laughs> yeah. a, here's a separation. Now. There's nothing wrong with a song. Because a song is a song. Uh, it, it can move. The spirit of it can mm-hmm. be whatever. The thing is, it's a consumerism. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you could, if you got that shit burned on a CD tucked somewhere and that nigga ain't seen no coins off of that spit. I, For like, real. Play, play that shit as long yeah. as you want. Bro. I don't give a fuck. But if you, if you still streaming that nigga music mm-hmm. and he still sees some revenue, ah, yeah, you're part word. of the problem. Word. And I there's mean, a there's an option. Excuse me. There's an option to mute certain artists on Spotify. Word. That's a little weird. Just but listen to it on YouTube. <laughs> no, he gets. No, no, no. They still get money from YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah they absolutely. still get money. Of course, yeah. But anyway, that's about an episode. Yeah. So we ran before a minute, and you noticed something. This is one of the first episodes where we did not go on a wild <laughs> ass <laughs> tangent. This whole oh, this whole good. episode was a wild ass. Tangent. And this is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Black Style in the Third, aka Sir Black Style in the Third, aka Flocka Zulu, because we because we going two times, aka <laughs> Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka Stop the Fire, man. Bro, bro. And it's your boy Ice Cream Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Wave Fifty, aka Hot Nuts, aka Holy Fuck Roaches, <laughs> aka Swiss Army Nick. <laughs> Woo! Swiss Army Dick. No, 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 no. Swiss Army Dick. <laughs> Swiss Army Dick. <laughs> Wait, what? why this nigga mad at my jokes, man? He's mad in I'm general. I'm not down today. with the hot nuts. He's mad today. You remember? You forget, anyway, you forget why you worry about This is my Dur- name. It's my name. And they is, hot. Is, is angry. <laughs> this jacket shouldn't go with this outfit. This Wait, why, why are you so upset about my nuts? And this is Dramatic, <laughs> a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, <laughs> a.k.a. Wave Shakur. Why is Dramatic upset about... I seen black hot nuts. I'm not <laughs> upset about. It. Did I say I was? You definitely said you're upset about my nuts. See, this is I what never said this that. is when this episodes. Is, we can we can listen back to this. This is when episodes drag. If I how, said it, how did I let you? How did I just suck your dick? My bad, man. Go ahead. <laughs> hot nuts is sucking. Anyway, <laughs> wow. This is dramatic. <laughs> AKA Wade Chappelle. AKA Wade ep- McGrady. We ended the episode AKA already. Black Galifianakis. Niggas, we dragging. AKA. You said yet already. No, I didn't. He was interrupting me. You're interrupting me now. Oh, shit. Jesus. Save us. (laughs) We love you, Jesus. We'll say it. (laughs) Goodbye. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Jesus Christ. (laughs) That boy. That boy. Save, save. Yo, <laughs> that nigga read the Bible eight times in prison. Bro, you can tell. 